Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfella One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you get 18% off. We out. All right, Eddie Hearn is going around saying that um that um they had the highest the highest uh capacity crowd in the United States history. That's cap. I looked it up. You can't take everything you know serious what everybody say, but I do appreciate everybody for tapping out tapping in. We're going to uh, talk about that in the purses for the fight. Um, I'll do a last final. I do the final thoughts tonight. Maybe a live version, but I do appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the links there. Want to make a financial donation? Uh, cash out CJ313. Appreciate Mr. Carter yesterday. Uh, appreciate Gary Benson. Appreciate everybody that donated to the channel. Vinny Ochoa. Um, everybody that donated. I appreciate you guys. The best way to donate is to share that video, though. For your boy, share out the boxing with playlist. So, y'all want to start off with the purses? We can start off with the purses. Um, 25 million for Canelo, guaranteed. Semi, unless he was guaranteed with Oscar De La Hoya through the zone. But he do get some incentives on the back end for how many people he bring in for viewership, which we'll see. Also, Billy Joe Saunders getting $3 million. Um, but I can double check that on the purses if you guys want me to. So, let me double check that. And Canelo, and Billy Joe, remember Billy Joe? Was complaining over uh, seven. Maybe he complaining over seven million dollars, trying to get eight or nine or ten. Um, now you end up with three. That's sad. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have fought, bro. They would have to turn. They would have turned. Had to tear that contract up and you know pay, do me with the gate. Pay me with the gate, bro. But um, Spur News is saying fifteen guaranteed for Canelo, two and a half guaranteed for uh, uh for. Uh, Billy Joe, um, Billy Joe walk away with five, and Canelo walk away with thirty-five. That was what SportNews.com say. Um, that's not what I heard, but uh, uh, Canelo will earn fifteen million guarantee for the fight. Uh, but you know, Billy Joe will earn one point seven, two and a half our money. Uh, so, you know. I mean, what else? I heard he was getting three, so. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, ultimately, these dudes selling their soul for what Errol Spence and Keith Thomas was getting on regular TV. And, and Billy Joe Saunders is laying down for $3 million. Let's say they do give him five. That's it. You know, you laying down for, for that type of money? Fuck that. You know, we'll go fight Triple G and make that. Derbatenko made five million dollars, five and a half, I think it was, fighting Triple G on regular his own. That's wild, man. So him taking that less money, he must legit believe he gonna win tomorrow night. He better believe it, my boosty voice. He must really believe he gonna win last tomorrow night. Me personally, I'm getting this fucking ass one. <laughs> uh, full force from uh, from house party. Get your fucking ass. He gonna lose tomorrow. We all know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised he laid down for that little bottom, little bit about the money. He, he should, they should have gave him seven to eight million dollars. You give this motherfucker what? Almost four, uh, over four times more than him. Over that's more than four because he, he say bring home three. That's shit, man. That's 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 sad, bro. That's sad. So we getting what four times, almost four times more. So we probably say. Four times more. So that shit. More than four times. I'm sorry, y'all. So if he getting three, Canelo damn near getting ten times more than him. That's wild, man. More than seven times. So he getting about eight times more than him. So twenty four million. Damn, bro. Damn. Man, he gotta be getting more than that. I can't for my I can't find him that. I can't find him that, bro. Damn. This joke almost getting three times more than him. And, and y'all chasing this motherfucker, he chasing him for he, be, he must believe he can beat him. Billy Joe beat him, we going live. Even though we know it's not going to happen, Billy Joe going to get parked like a truck stop. If he go out there and really win, I'm going to say he won. But, um... Canelo ain't that good, man. Most of these motherfuckers today can't fight, no, can't box no way. A lot of these guys can fight. But, let's see. But Billy Joe taking that less money, he must believe he can really win. 
You know, because it's going to be on the Zone UK. So maybe get some of that the Zone UK money. If I'm him, shit. Shit. Shit, a nigga make. He making, he making almost eight, over eight times more than him. And you, you back him? Man, I just tell Eddie Hearn. He must be broke to gargle my balls. Gargle my balls. Gargle my balls. So, Eddie Hearn out here. Somebody sent this to me today. Eddie Hearn. Shout out to Theory Henry. He said, in Indy Sports, he says, Eddie Hearn says that, says there will be 70,000 people inside AT&T Stadium in Texas on Saturday. Excuse me, breaking the record for indoor Boston crowd in the U.S. That's not true. Okay, because... Milwaukee got the record. You want to talk about some other some other places, man? Um, come on, man. Just think about it, man. He don't know shit about it. It's, a, it's several fights, I think, in the U.S. that have more than that. Um, so, Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey fought uh, Gene Tooney, right? He fought Gene Tooney. I'm trying to pull it up. It's taking a while. So, he fought Gene Tooney a few times, right? One was at Soldier Field. One was in the uh, the spectacular was what well, I don't know the stadium in Philadelphia. He fought him twice. All right, uh, let me read the comments. This is the first one. The second one saw more too. So they had a so it's the first the second one had a hundred and four over a hundred almost a hundred and five thousand people in attendance. It says the fight had everything. A box. This is the first, the second one. A boxing fan can want both men hitting the canvas with Tooney going down to seven, Dempsey going down to eighth. However, despite hitting the canvas, Tooney uh, dominated the fight from start to from start to finish. According to the judge, Carl, he only dropped one round. Tired of fight. Although the fight wasn't without controversy, as Tooney was knocked down in the seventh, the referee counted at nine. But the fight's official time keeper was uh was up. Keeper was on was uh, was up to thirteen on his count. This incident earned the fight the nickname the long count. So that's 104,000 people, right? So the second time, that's a, my bad. The first time they had, hold on, that's, that's the second time. The second time they had, the first time, they had, second time they had 100 and almost 5,000 people, okay? The second time, the first time they fought, they had 122,000, almost 121,000. So they had, they had, they had almost 16,000 more in that fight. And that's the first one. The fight would go down in box history, and not just because of the size of the crowd. To everyone's surprise, Tony nominated the whole fight, winning every round. That was a reflected on the judges' scorecards as Tony won a wide unanimous decision. The fight was named the upset of the decade by the Ring Magazine. The Ring Magazine was back. It was around 1962. So them two fights, um, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly where they was at. The first fight was in Soldier Field in Chicago. The second fight was. Was in the Philadelphia at this whatever the Spec Continental, okay. So them two fights, okay. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fought Greg Hogan, right? I don't know where that fight was at, so we about to look at, look it up. Greg, he fought some of these motherfuckers, dude. This is wow. Okay, he fought. He that was in Mexico City. Okay, so number one was Tony Zell taking on Bobby Pryor. So, let's see, I know where that fight was at. Let's see where it's at. Let's see where it's at. Bobby Pryor. He was from Chicago. Uh, Tony Zell. So, he fought Bobby Pryor. Sorry. He fought Bobby Pryor. He fought Billy Kahn as well. So, he fought Billy Pryor and... Uh, Juno Park, Milwaukee. That's the highest capacity crowd. Juno Park, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The promoter was Billy Mitchell. They did over 135,000 people in attendance. From start of the fight, it was clear to see Billy Pryor was overmatched, but he he put his brave effort, um, put up a brave effort. Even that he definitely had the fight spirit. As he was dropped a number of times before finally being knocked out in the ninth round. Unfortunately, I don't think he will. We will ever see it across this side at a boxing match again, mainly because health and safety. So, a hundred and over one hundred thirty-five thousand people attended Tony Zell and Biddy Pryor. 
120,000 people attended Jack Dempsey and Jerry Cooney 1. 104,000, almost 105,000 attended the second fight. So both of them, when I say one was in Philadelphia, the other one was in Chicago. So stop capping, Eddie Hearn, stop capping. <laughs> Eddie Hearn be lying his ass off, man. There's nothing compared to say They almost doubled up 70,000, Tony Zell and Billy Pryor. So stop listening to Eddie Hearn. He don't know shit about United States boxing. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out anytime you got business pressing, priority sponsorship, video requests, or you want to advertise your business on the channel. My social media subscription, including my Facebook group. Want to make a financial donation? That's in the description. Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Peace. Let me know what you in the comment section.